Hello everyone. You are welcome and watchOS has been released alongside iOS 17.1.1. watchOS 10.1.1 is now available worldwide to everyone simultaneously. Provided you're using an Apple Watch Series 4 or a newer model running watchOS 10.1 or an earlier version. If you happen to be using watchOS 10.2 betas, this update won't be visible to you since you're already on a more recent version. For those of you still on watchOS 10.1 or an earlier version, you should be able to access this update as long as your device is supported. This particular update has a file size of 169 megabytes, though this size can vary depending on the version you're upgrading from. Nonetheless, it's not a substantial update in terms of file size. Let's now take a look at the build number and then discuss the new features. To find the build number, navigate to your settings, then general, and select about. You'll notice that the build number is 21S71. Keep in mind that different builds may be available for various devices. Regarding the improvements in this update, it primarily addresses a significant issue that many users were facing. If we refer to the release notes, it mentions that this update delivers essential bug fixes and resolves an issue that was causing some users' batteries to drain faster than expected. While it's clear that the battery issue is fixed, there's no information available about any other issues that may have been addressed. The battery problem was a common concern on Watch OS 10, specifically on Watch OS 10.1, and it seems to have been linked to third-party apps. Apple has not claimed to have fixed anything else apart from the battery bug on the Apple Watch. Therefore, this update should resolve the battery issue and hopefully not introduce any other problems as it was generally quite stable. Regarding security updates, there are no published CVE entries for Watch OS 10.1.1 on the Apple security website. This lack of information doesn't necessarily mean there's no security update. It just indicates that they haven't published any details. Nevertheless, this update is available for Apple Watch Series 4 and later, similar to iOS 17.1.1, for which no information was published either. Occasionally, they update this information once the patched bugs have been in circulation for a while, but sometimes they don't. In terms of overall performance, this update is primarily focused on fixing the major battery issues, so it shouldn't significantly impact other aspects. It may take a few days to assess any changes in battery life. As for my older Apple Watch, which I used before getting the Apple Watch Ultra, its battery health is still at 93% after a full year of use, while my Apple Watch Ultra remains at 100% after a year. Charging them every night seems to work well, especially for the Ultra. Watch OS 10.2 betas are still ongoing at the time of this video, and we might expect an update later today or in the coming days. However, it's possible that the next update will arrive next week. Historically, iOS 17.2 and Watch OS 10.2 have been released in the first or second week of December. Last year, it was around the 13th of December, so we can anticipate the same this year with new features, updates, and more. That covers the key details about watchOS 10.1.1. It's a relatively minor update, and I wanted to keep you informed, as many of you have requested this video. If you've discovered anything else in this update, please share it in the comments below. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. If you found this video helpful, a like would be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching, and this has been your Apple News Update.